Welcome to the 105th video in this series. In this video, we're going to update the code that stores and retrieves our hash entries and switch from actually using the individual data, so the score, the move, and things like that, to using our SMP data. Before doing that, I want to paste in three positions, and these this code is inside the description for this video, so you can paste it in as well. And these we're going to use just to run and check node counts and things like that, and just make sure what we do before is the same as what we have after, so that we know that when we've made the adjustments to the hash table code, everything is still okay. Now, when we compile and run Vice, we get told how many entries there are in the hash table, which is convenient, and there are 1.4 million at the moment on my computer when I start it. Now, that number is actually with superfluous information. It's not just with the depth, the move, and everything like that, but also with the SMP data and the SMP key. So if we say fix it at 1 million entries, we can be fairly sure whatever we do to the hash data entry, we're never going to end up with too many entries fixed in the hash table. So back in pvtable.c, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to fix the number of entries at 1 million. And that means whatever we do to the size of this uh, hash entry structure will always have the same number of hash entries and therefore we should be able to compare exactly before and after because what we're expecting is to hopefully get repeatable node counts when we search a couple of positions. Next I'd like to drop into uci.c and where we have the command run change this from go depth 10 which it is for me yours might be different because I've done a lot of playing around I want to change that to go infinite and I want to have a quick look at the win at chess 2. So I'll save that and then drop into the console, compile and run vice. And then when I type UCI and then run, it should start searching and it does. And I know from experience, you can put the, obviously the position into Lee Chess or something like that and have a look what the position actually is. But I know from experience here that we don't want B3, B7, which is the current best, uh, best move. We want B3, B2. It's actually a, a position where you can get a passed pawn um, if you sacrifice a rook. So I'm gonna sit here and wait for vice to find that. Usually it takes around a minute. Okay, so 58 seconds and it's found B3, B2. Now the important thing here I want to check is whether if I stop Vice and uh, type run again, it actually finds the solution straight away so that we know the hash table is working. And we can see actually when I run it straight away, it's found the same score as previously and found B3, B2. So I can type stop there, in fact, control and C just to quit. So I'm pretty sure the hash table is okay. I want to make one more check though. Back inside the code then, what I want to do is change this then for the, uh, does it find 70 I called it? Yes, the find 70, which is a very famous end game position here. So I'm gonna save that and go back into the console, compile vice again and run it again. Okay, and this time UCI and run will have a lot more output because it's an end game position. But what we're looking for here is actually what we can see on the screen, that's A1, B1. So we're looking for king to B1. And you can see originally in the search, it was finding king to B2, which is the wrong move. So I'm going to stop that now and just run again and I can see that it finds a, B, A1, B1 straight away. So I'm pretty sure the uh, hash table is working. And this particular position is a really good test for, for hash tables. So I can stop that and quit out of that, clear the screen and jump back into the code. And I want to make one last run here now with the LC, did I call it LCT1 position as well. And here I want to actually go depth 10. So with that final position in, back into the console, compiling and running vice then. Can wait for that to get to depth 10, hopefully. Good, it has. And I'm going to actually copy and save this output into a file so that we've got it to compare with when we've made the changes to the hash table. So control and C for me, it might be different for you on your computer. I make a new file here. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call this. I'll call it output.txt because we can delete it later on. It's just temporary and paste in and save the output there. So that I know that this is the uh, original run before I make changes to the hash table. Okay, so with the preparation done, we can dive into the code. So inside defs.h, let's scroll down to where we have the uh, the hash entry, which is here. And now we actually no longer need the position key. And I'll just comment these out in case I need to uncomment later on for, for problems. And we don't need the move, we don't need the score, the depth, or the flags. We need the age, but this information here we don't need now because it'll all be inside our SMP data. Once we've done that, we can drop into PV table, which now has obviously a few red marks uh, all over the place because we're trying to use information which is no longer existing. And what I'm going to do then is this verify entry SMP, I'm going to leave it in the code because you might want it. But what we'll do is we're very, very naughty here because we're probably never going to use it again and just comment out the entire thing to get rid of the errors that there are in that particular bit. Scrolling down then to the next red that we've got here. Again, let's comment this out rather than deleting it just in case I need to do some kind of reversal and take that comment out as well. So we don't need to initialize any of these things on the clearing of the hash table. Scrolling down here, we've got some more red and obviously inside probe hash entry because we're going to need to do things slightly differently. 
So now what we actually need to do is we need to get this test key actually using the current position that we're sending into this function here. So I'm going to take this line here and copy that line and paste it in here. Now we're not looking for it from the table where we're doing some verification, we're actually looking for the current position. So we're going to take the current position and then XOR that with the SMP data and that will give us then our test key that we can actually use to verify whether that's at the current position in the table. So what we have to do now is say that if the test key then is equal to, and instead of the position key, what we're looking for here is the SMP key that's inside our table. And if those are the same, we know that we've got a hash hit. Now that we've done that, what we can do is we can actually get rid of all this stuff here because we don't need it anymore. But what we do need to do is extract the information from the entry that we've got inside the table. Now, what we could do is directly insert the macros inside the code here. However, for sake of sort of learning, I want to keep everything separate and explicit. So this is going to be a little bit verbose, but it's just to keep things clear for when you're looking at it later on, or indeed I'm looking at it later on when things have gone wrong. So first of all, we'll get the depth then by saying that we're going to to extract the depth and we're going to be extracting then that from the SMP data not the SMP key so I'll put data here then I'm going to copy that down three times which is always dangerous copying but we'll have the uh, the move SMP move and then we're going to have the SMP score and then we're going to have the SMP flags so here we want uh, extract move where are you then here we want extract score and here we want extract flags and then, of course, we need uh, semicolons on the end of here as well. Otherwise, things aren't going to work, are they? And I've been doing too much Python recently. So now what we can do then is change this here, where there's a red squiggly line to say that's now our SMP move. And then where we've got the depth, we can say that's our SMP depth. Now, the assertions that we've got down here are no longer going to work. There'll be syntax errors. They're not actually activated at the moment because we haven't got a cert turned on. So therefore, nothing's actually going to happen. We're not going to get a compiler error. I'm not going to fix those either for the sake of time, but I'll comment them out so that you can put them in with the correct information if you want to later on. Next thing we need to do then is assign our pointer actually to the correct value here, which is the SMP score. And then finally, we've got the SMP flags down here as well. So we can do switch on the SMP flags. And that should be everything we need to do inside our probe hash entry function. So not much of a change there, just getting the information out of our SMP data and using that. The next function we need to change then is the storing of the hash entry where things are also going to be slightly different. So what we're going to say now is that instead of the table position key is equal to naught, we're going to say if the SMP key is equal to zero, then we're writing something new and we definitely want to replace what's in the table. This little bit here though, I'm going to change the logic slightly there. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to say that if the uh, the table and then we want uh, P index and then age, and we'll say if that's less than the table and the current age, then our replace will be set to true. So we can set replace is equal to true. Otherwise we'll say else if, and then we're going to get the depth. So we'll say extract the depth and we're going to extract the depth then from our SMP data. If this depth is less than equal to the depth that we sent in, then in this circumstance as well, what we're going to do is set replace is equal to true. So it's virtually the same logic as before. It's just been split up to make it slightly easier when we're using this extraction of the depth. Scrolling down a bit further and looking for more red lines then, if replace is false, then we'll return. That stays the same. That stays the same. And we've got the SMP data here, which is our folding of the data. And then we've got our SMP key here as well. So what we can do here is get rid of all of these, but I won't get rid of them actually, I'll comment them out just in case things go wrong again, because I'm always afraid of that. And believe me in testing, things did. Then we have our SMP data, which is stored here, except we can actually just probably just directly take that fold data and drop that there. And then we've got the position key in the SMP data. So we can just drop that there as well, which means we can comment these two out and then we can leave the rest of these as they are here. Okay, the final thing down here is then we don't need this call to verifying the entry SMP either. So I'm going to remove that. I've got a red squiggly line here because the SMP, uh, yeah, that's used here and here, isn't it? Okay, so I will uncomment that one actually. And then I'll drop that one in here like so. And then we can leave both of those together like that because I find that a little bit easier to read. Okay, so saving the file, we've still got some errors I notice. Oh, of course, also when we probe a PV move, things are going to change as well, aren't they? So what we want to do then is we want to get our test key. I'm going to scroll all the way up and find the code that we've already written, which is this inside the probe uh, hash entry there, down into probe PV move then. 
let's drop that in here so we've got our current position key and then we're XORing that with the table at the index and the SMP data that's the important thing which gets our test key out of here and here then we can ask the same question so we're going to ask if the SMP key inside the table then is equal to our test key we know that we've got a hash hit and that means then that we need to actually return the move so when we return the move then that is the extracting of the move so we'll say extract move and then what we want inside here then is the SMP data. And that should be all the updates we need to do inside probe PV. So we're probing the hash entry. I'm just doing a double check here. We're getting a test key. So we're using our data in the current position to get the key. Then we're finding out if the key is the same as the one we stored. If it is, we're extracting all the information from data. And then we're replacing everything that was there. Well, that looks okay. And just going into here as well, this one also looks okay. So if the key is zero, it's new. If the age is okay, we can replace. If the depth is okay from the data, we're all right. Then when we come to store, we make our data here. At first glance, it all looks okay to me. So what we should be able to do now then is drop into the terminal and then compile the program and run the program. And now comes the big moment of holding my breath. So UCI followed by run, and let's have a look at the output going up to depth 10. So the search is run. I'll copy this output, drop back into the code. And where do we have our output? There it is. Let's just drop below this and paste in and see what we have. And this is really good. So we have got, after all of those changes, exactly the same nodes and same scores as we had when we made the search before. Therefore, we can be fairly sure that the change we've made here in switching from using individual pieces of information to using the data that we've stored inside this uh, SMP data here and the way that we're using our key is working exactly as we want it to. That may be your case that you don't have the same output. If you don't have the same output, then you need to go and check your code. If this has happened, you're not alone. The same thing happened to me in preparation for this video and I actually saved the image to show you as well as evidence. So I got slightly different nodes and you can see from this image here, it's a screenshot I took. I actually ended up doing different versions of Vice side by side and printing what it was storing with the hash key and the scores and the move to the console and copying thousands of lines and pasting them then into Visual Studio and doing a difference to find where there were differences in the hash table. And I did actually have a bug. In my case, the bug was... Uh, where are we? Somewhere here. It was in this depth and I had uh, less than and not less than and equals to like that. And that was enough to make the nodes off by about 50 nodes by about depth eight or something like this. So if you do get a difference, go through the code, try and find the difference because it's really, really important that the outputs from both of those searches before and after are exactly the same in terms of nodes uh, and in terms of score. So with that done, we're actually at the stage now where in the next video, what we're going to do is actually implement the search threads.